All right, sorry for the uh, abrupt ending on the last video. Uh, I got a phone call from a buddy and I had to go. But um, anyway, let me get started uh, on the uh, on the same part I left off on the on the main riff and on the second bar of the main riff. Um, <laughs> And the way the notes sound is like that. And I'm pretty sure the way Warren plays it is, which means uh, he uh, hits the open open G string and then slams his finger down on the E, so like that. So there's no picking of the E. It seems as though he just hits the open G and, and then hammers on uh, onto the E on the fourth string. So anyway, um, that's that riff. And then also. Uh, it, in the main riff, there's little little variations and things that uh, Warren throws in, like the um, like the two open strings at the bottom. So it'll go. And one of the other things um, that that I just found out recently by watching actually my, my first video is that I think uh, you can play the the actual riff better if you emphasize these notes. So um, it's kind of like. And uh, what else is there? Alright, so and then there's this one, which is. So that goes on the uh, third string starting at the uh, A sharp. So you're pretty much just pulling off uh, on the third fret to the second fret, and then to the open G, and then to the E. You need to pull off or so and uh, that's that riff and then one of the well the last things that's part of the main riff is something like uh, or Warren does it something this pinky maybe I don't know it's, to me it sounds like this which is um, the target notes are the D uh, so 7th fret of the 3rd string and 8th fret of the 2nd string. Making a little E there. And um, rather than hammer on, when I do that, I just slide up and then hit the low E. And with my, with, my, uh, with my ring finger and my middle finger, I just pluck that. Finger, pl finger pluck it and then go right back into the rest of the riff. Uh, what other riffs are there? That's about it. And then at the beginning, to kind of uh, lead back into every bar, he'll uh, kind of do like a... Um, which uh, I think you can either do as this, or just... And um, that's pretty much, once again, the target note is... And uh, you can either put one, put the uh, put your first finger separated by one fret, or put them both, uh, whichever sounds good to you. Um, anyway, so then again, then it goes into the chorus. Which, one, which once again is just that chord with the open A, and then adding on the D on the second string and the F sharp on the fourth string. And the pre-solo part is uh, is like this, and then I'm pretty sure it goes into uh, B. All right, let me get some more volume there. Anyway, uh, and that riff is pretty much just so it's the uh, the E and the A. And then up two frets. So, um, and then I just play that by bar and with my first and third finger. And then in between those uh, is just this uh, this root note of, of the B on the A string. So, chord was a C, and, uh, and I don't know if it sounds better as a full C, or just if you kind of leave your middle finger just kind of mute in the fourth string, and you, know, you, 
you decide. Um, and anyway, that riff leading up to that is, which is starts as the open A, uh, and then the so all picked uh, open third fourth, and then second fret and fourth string, and then pulling off from the uh, the A on the G string like that. So. That's about it, and I might do the solo later, but um, alright, I hope that's helpful.